Here we have Julie Royce at it again, attempting to bring down our dear elder brother, John MacArthur, using anything she can to destroy his reputation. And for what purpose? That's the question. What is the purpose? Now, the scary thing is this woman is a professing Christian. Okay. Now, what she's doing and what she's been doing in regards to John MacArthur is what I like to call misappropriated unbiblical slander. And the reason I say that is because Julie Royce is dishonestly attacking John MacArthur with slander for things other than false teachings. Okay. If Julie Royce was not a professing Christian, I'd have absolutely no problem with what she's doing. But because she is, it speaks volumes of not just the God she serves, but her motives. So here's a clip of John MacArthur speaking about Elena L. And then I'll give my take after. You know, I was looking at the internet the other day and some wistful girl said how I became a Calvinist and left Calvinism. Well, the, the sophomoric comment like that from somebody who uh, should keep her thoughts to herself because she has no idea what she's talking about is to be measured against someone who for 50 years has taken every text of the Bible and, and put doctrine into that text and see if it survives. And I can say that it has. So if you don't know who Elena L is, she's a popular quote unquote Christian YouTuber who did a series of videos with false teacher Layton Flowers on why she left Calvinism. Now I responded to a few of her videos that she did with Layton Flowers and pretty much broke down why and how she went wrong regarding her views on Calvinism. Because she is wrong, let's get that clear, she is wrong. And so was John MacArthur but not in the way that you think he was. Now, John MacArthur was 100% correct in his rebuke of Elena, but I believe he may have been wrong in how he delivered his rebuke, okay? And I take it that that's Julie Roy's issue with this video, how he said it, okay? Okay, I'll give you that, I'll give you that. If that's your issue, I'll give that to you. Um, John MacArthur is not perfect. He's simply a God-fearing man, but he's a man who's passionate about truth, about upholding and defending biblical truth. And I'm the same way. I believe all true men of God are. And until you have a platform where you are constantly bombarded with false teachers and heretics claiming you are a heretic, okay, and having to defend truth constantly, you won't understand that frustration. John MacArthur is an old man. I think the older he gets, the less patience he has for error and heresy. And it shows, but that doesn't mean he's wrong. Now let's address why he's not wrong regarding Elena L. Number one, you don't leave Calvinism. Let me say that again. You don't leave Calvinism as though you are leaving it and going to the truth. No, Calvinism is biblical. And if you disagree with that, you are wrong, okay? I don't care about your opinion. I don't care about how you feel. Calvinism is biblical. And if you don't get that, it's most likely because you don't have eyes to see, Matthew 13, 16, which means that you, do, which means that you are not a possessor of the Holy Spirit. There's a reason why all the top reformed preachers of this day believe the same things. It's because we possess the same spirit, the helper, that leads us in the same direction. We're all like-minded for a reason. Okay, again, this is not opinion. This is fact. If that upsets you, then you need to examine your faith because you may not have it. So I'm 100% in agreement with John MacArthur on his assessment that Elena L. is wrong. Now, his delivery regarding his rebuke is up for interpretation, but he is not wrong. 